ready for the season opener? Uh, I mean, it was, it was a little bit hard because, you know, you it take the summer to get better, so I was out for the summer, like two months. And before I was out, I was getting weight. I was in a good, like, getting bed and stuff. Uh, right now, I'm in, a good, I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in a good health right now. How much does it help you guys? You've got so many guards who can score in the post that has to open things up for you. Uh, it's good because you're not going to get, like, double a lot, and they're not going to dig when you, when you get the ball in the post because you can kick it out and they can score outside. That's going to help the post. That's going to open up the post a lot. Talk about your role really expanding this year from, from being – you know, back up to Gavin and how important that, that five position is going to be for this team this year. Uh, I mean, it's good because, you know, Gavin is a really good post, post player, so if you back up on him, so he, first of all, you're going to learn a lot from him because he's really good, and I'm just going to be ready, and when my when my time goes, I'm just ready to go. What improvements have you made from last year? What strides have you made in what areas? Uh, I think I'll get a little bit stronger. And uh, defense wise, like playing defense without fouling. So, what up, D? <laughs> what was it like when you were standing right over there and Chicken tried to jump over you? Did you think that he could clear you? Uh, I did not. I thought he going to put his hand on me. I did not, I did not think he going to jump over me like that. But when he jumped with me, I was thinking he just jumped and dunked it. But I didn't know he would admit it. After I see the video, I said, no way he did that. <laughs> <laughs> what was going through your mind when you were standing there waiting for him to jump over you? Uh, I was I, I was thinking he going to put his hand on me. So I was I was, I was was okay. I was like, oh, he's not going to do anything crazy like that. Were you nervous? No, no, at all. <laughs> and then it. when you kind of felt him, you know, come over your head did, did you think it was real I mean yeah take us through the moment when he kind of clears you and literally jumped over you when he jumped over me I said wait, wait how he did it without touching me because I didn't feel his hand or anything on me I said no way he did that and after that, it was more case after I see the video because I didn't know who would me or me even crazy when I see the video <laughs> what did you think about the atmosphere in here that night with all the fans and things was it did it seem like uh, a little bit different than what you'd become used to last year and years past? Yeah, the atmosphere was great. And you can tell, like, just the people we had here, I think we have, like, 4,000, something like that. It's, last year, some game, it was, like, we have the same amount of people, like, 4,000, something like that. Yeah. And this year was just a money minus that tell us maybe during the season we're going to have way more people than that. How does that make your job uh, more fun or, or maybe easier to, to do in, in front of a packed house? Uh, it's, I think it's going to be more fun and easier because if you have the crowd behind you, so you can push you to do better than what you usually do. Coach Allen praised the job that you did in the weight room over this past over the during the off season. How much did you kind of embrace that in the new strength coaches? Uh, I mean, they just, they just do a good job for make us eat better than how we usually do and the way room how coach did do his uh, way is a little bit different than how we used to but I think the biggest thing is the way we eat in the during the summer that would help all of us gain more weight and stuff.